Spain Tourism invites the GCC Travel Trade to learn more about its cities of Madrid and Barcelona at its next webinar on Tuesday, the 23rd of March 2021. Ireland Tourism met the Middle East trade on a virtual platform in its two-day roadshow. It was great. It was wonderful to be able to just meet people, albeit uh, online. Um, but it was I had some really fantastic chats with uh, with buyers and uh, there was a lot of interest with uh, with Ireland. So it was all, on the whole, it was really very, very good. It was a very successful show as far as I, I, I see it. And uh, it was very impressive to see the island of Ireland offers something totally unique to the Middle East and have implemented all the newly required health and safety measures um, without compromising the, the, the holiday experience. I think that's the main question that everybody has in mind. The main requirements I found was that people were looking for what's the I mean, basically wide open green spaces, mountains, lakes, uh, beauty that Ireland has to behold. And then main requirements for a lot of people were was family room. Tourism Ireland, especially, we work with very closely with them. And I am no wonder they will come out with these sessions more. So my expectation with Tourism Ireland, however, I expect they are always about that and they will continue keeping it. We actually noticed that we have only one main uh, recurrent question that is coming back was actually the hygiene and safety measure taken in our um, uh, luxury and shopping destination. Um, so yeah, it was actually that question that was kind of bothering the, the travel, um, travel trade across the region. Dubai College of Tourism partners with Jumeirah Group to facilitate graduates in pursuing successful career. Aleph Hospitality has signed a management contracts for three hotels in Kenya. Residents in Bimaria to open in Al Jadab, Dubai. Yeah.